how much sex were you actually having during this whole uh, addiction process? Or like, at what point did you start having sex again in order to even get pregnant? Um, so after I wasn't really with anybody, and then I met somebody that was really good to me, which he's right over there. But okay. um, yeah, uh, we just we talked over the phone and uh, we texted like every day, and he was like, "You're gonna be my wife. Just just wait, you know." How'd you we, meet him? Uh, we met over Instagram, but I mean, who doesn't meet online? At least it wasn't Tinder or something like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we met and then we decided, uh, even in the hospital, I said, I'm going to have a kid. I don't know. I, people think I was high talking about that, but I was like, after this, I'm going to have a kid, even if I have to go to a sperm bank, cause I've always wanted a child. So, um, I've had two abortions in the past, one when I was, um, 19 and one when I was 20. And I only got the abortions cause my ex said he wanted to kill me if I didn't get them. So that's the only reason, but I've always wanted children. And yeah, he's the only person I've been sexually active with now. Um, when I was in the hospital though, they told me I had like gonorrhea and all this crazy stuff. And I was like, I don't even know who I was with. Like, Do you mean during the, the Whippet era? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know who I was with. I got raped um, by a cop for sure. Wait, what, how does yeah. that happen? Um, I had a cop that used to be a sugar daddy and uh, he, brought me me and my friend whippets and um i fell asleep and i woke up to him inside of me because oh, he, he was just supposed to bring the whippets and leave um I, I even offered him money just so he would like go or whatever but uh i woke up and yeah i wasn't doing good well i'm sorry to hear that what okay. so what do you do when you like awaken to that um, and had you previously slept with him or no no no, oh. no yeah he was just a sugar daddy um he was just facetime me send me stuff but i was so desperate for whippets i was just asking anybody for money i didn't care like and I kind of knew he was like off a little bit, um, but I wanted the whippet so bad I would do anything for them. But yeah, I woke up to that and I'm already desensitized to sex. It doesn't do anything to me, so I don't really care. But that was a hard one. Wow, sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, but I'm stronger than ever now. For sure. Um so okay, you're in, but you're in the hospital, and like, what are they actually like doing for you to like get you into a better state of mind or better health? They're pumping me full of drugs. That's all. They were giving me every drug under the sun. I, I got at least ten shots a day, and I don't even know what they were putting in my body. And even the, like, it was an Austin facility. I don't even know. Um, they were the physical therapy was like just standing me up and down every day for like two minutes, and I was like that I'm, I'm not going to walk in this hospital. So I would wake up at 4 a.m. every day and I would I would do my own weird exercises just to try to get my body to wake back up again. Mm. And then I finally started, like after about two weeks, two and a half weeks in the hospital, I finally started being able to use the walker slightly, but I had this thing called drop foot where your muscles just drop in on the feet um, because your nerves don't work anymore. And then your, your, your feet can permanently get fused like that if you don't use them. So I'd always plant my feet on the floor hard. And that's what I would do every morning for like 30 minutes. And it hurts so bad. Everything hurt. Wow. 24 seven. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty shocked when I saw you actually like using the walker and stuff, because when we had made that post, I thought like, Oh, this is, she's actually not going to be able to walk. So I was kind of surprised. Yeah, people when you thought got I back. was lying. Right. People thought I lied about the whole thing. But you might've been being like overly pessimistic since you got your legs working kind of soon after. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 But do you think you're going to get more, um, like feeling in your feet and everything? Is, I it, hope is it getting better? I don't, I don't see it getting better. They've been the same. Uh, the only thing that gets better is like my balance now. Like my, I can like, when I go up the stairs and downstairs, I usually have to like grab on like an old lady or something and like hold tight, but I'm like slowly not having to do that. So that's the only progress I'm seeing now, but everything else has come back. Wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sober. I, I don't do anything now. So it's, I guess it's a blessing in a way. Cause I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Um, yeah. And, I mean, I guess that's a part of growing. How anyway. deep into the pregnancy are you? A couple of months? Uh, no, it's like three weeks. Oh, like I had to get it. a blood test. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like you, it won't even show up on a um, a pregnancy test yet. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. But so usually people wait a little longer to announce it, but I guess. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh well. But okay, so what would be your advice to like uh, young people who are thinking about doing with us? Don't. Don't ever touch whippets. Um, um, people that are addicted to whippets ask me all the time too. Like, what do you do? And I'm like, keep busy. Um, keep your hands busy. Keep like I build Legos. I love Legos, so I'm always mm. building Legos. And if not, a lot I'm of girls I know are into Legos. Yeah, Skybree does like Twitch Lego streams. I love that. I'll do that. See, I might. That's a good market. Right.
You just need like an overhead camera to like oh yeah see all the Legos. I will do the Legos. Yeah, just people that are addicted to anything, try to do something that makes you happy and get animals, keep your hands busy, work, tattoo. That's what I do. Right. Yeah. The uh, an idle mind is the devil's playground. It really is. As cliche as everyone says it is, it's just the truth. Mm. It's like straight out the truth. Right. Yeah. Definitely. So, what what is this new relationship like? How does he handle your eccentric nature? Elaborate. <laughs> I mean, you. Well, is there anything like freaky or weird about your personality at this point, or you're saying you're a total square now? No, I'm not a square at all. I'm. I'm. I still do OnlyFans. Um, he does porn as well. Uh, so we kind of just go together. Like we just kind of match in that aspect. Uh huh. Yeah. It's going very well. That's dope. You yeah. met him through porn or you got him into it? No, no. He He's into like the real porn. Like he does like real sets and stuff. Um, he's even seen you at AVN, I believe. Yeah, it looks kind of familiar. Yeah. Okay. So he does like the real porn stuff. I, I do OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. Exciting. Um, so you, you're not shooting with other people? No. You're, ba you're just like a no. content relationship as well? Yeah, I, especially that like now I don't want anybody inserting anything in me, especially if I have something growing inside of me. Like that's not for anybody else. Right. No, that yeah. definitely makes sense. What do you think you're going to be like as a mom? I don't know. I'm I'm excited to find out. I'm, I think I'm going to be a really good mom. Right. Like, but you can't go on any like weird side quests, like just getting addicted to nitrous for a while. No. You got to like, that'll... once you're a mom, you got to like take all that weird shit and just I put know. it to the side. I'm going to teach my kid how to do Legos. That's what I'm excited about. You got to teach him more than that. You got to teach him like all kinds of shit, how to read, speak. We're going to do everything. Right. We're going to start homesteading. It's so weird that Crazy. your your kid is not going to know how weird you look. No. <laughs> it's like at some it's point, normal. it's just going to click. Like, Mom, why do you got black eyes and all that shit? I know. Shit? I'm yeah. like, it's normal. What do you mean? Right. Damn. It's the yeah. new generation. Right.